Hi, it's Susan from Susan B. Cards. Today I'm going to be using some Simon Hurley products. I'm going to start by uh, cutting a black 110 pound cardstock down to a little bit smaller than 5 by 7. I'm going to apply solar paste in Golden Hour onto the panel using a domed foam blender. Um, but I realize as I'm putting this on that it's not going on evenly because of the dome shape of the blender. So I'm going to switch in a little bit to a regular flat sponge blender. I'll link everything in the comments below so you can see what I used. Um, today I'm going to be focusing on some Spellbinders products with this card and his new collection which is called Simon Snow Globes. There's quite a few dies, and um, there's some sentiments and a snow globe. I don't have a snow globe, so I'm just going to be using the pieces on a regular card. Here you see, once I switch to the regular flat blender, it's much smoother. It's even. I could also use a palette knife, but I found that I apply a much thicker coat because the palette knife tends to leave streaks. I don't want to do that. In between switching the colors, I clean it just off on a paper towel. And I clean off the palette knife too, so that way I don't pollute any of my paste. I'm gonna move on to Crocodile Tears, which is a green color. Um, and you can see here that I apply much less onto the scrap piece of paper. You don't really need that much. It's actually a thin coat that goes on and it'll be nice and smooth. I took the largest oval from the fluted oval collection from Spellbinders, just to get an idea of where the colors are going to be um, once I die cut my top panel. I just want to see what's going to be showing, be sure that I get all the colors in there. So now you can see the green is going on pretty smoothly. You can go back and kind of cover up those missed spots. It's fine. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off on a paper towel again, clean off my palette knife, and move on to the next color. The next color is Beluga, which is a blue color. Again, a small amount. You're gonna want to let this panel completely dry before embossing it. So I let it dry just about uh, maybe four hours just to be safe or you could let it dry overnight. Work on a couple of these panels if you want to do more than one. Once you see how pretty the embossed panel looks, you'll probably want to make more than one anyway. It's much easier with this flat foam blending tool. I'm just turning the paper because it's a little bit easier to apply it on the right side since I'm right-handed. And I'm going to go and clean off my uh, blending tool and my palette knife again, and then move on to a purple color, which is called Royal Flush. I did have a couple of little dried areas. I probably should have wiped off my um, lid before I put it on. Sometimes I put a little bit of paste in the lid and, and just dip my blending tool in into that. But uh, then you have to be sure to clean it because otherwise you get these little dried pieces. I've had these pastes since, I think, June when I received them from scrapbook.com. And uh, they really are very nice and pliable still. It hasn't really dried out at all except for the little pieces at the top. You know, you can go ahead and put some... Um, saran wrap over it um but i i haven't done that and they're working really great no problems at all so the next color um i'm going to use something darker which is going to be the lunar paste and you'll see how much more pigmented the paste is when you put the solar paste on the white paper on the right you can see they all look a little bit iridescent and it's hard to see exactly what colors they are until you put it on the black cardstock but the lunar paste is very pigmented. You could see the purple as soon as you put it on the paper. And once I put it on the black cardstock, it's gonna be very dark. It's 
going to be very close to black and I wanted a little bit more dramatic look near the top. So I'm just smoothing the last color on. Um, after I'm done with all this, I'm going to rinse out that foam blending tool. Now I let the panel dry overnight and I'm going to emboss it with the Geo Quilt embossing folder. You can see how beautiful that is. And you can't see really any of the streaks on it. And then I'm going to take the largest oval, take it a, a five by seven black cardstock and cut the center out. I'm going to pop that over the um, colored panel you'll see right now. And since I don't have the snow globe dies, I'm just going to use the woodland scene. And um, I cut it out of white 110 pound cardstock. And it makes a very pretty card. You don't need the globe. I also use the nativity scene with a few of the warmer colors on the panel. Um, that's about it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment or any questions and I'll be happy to answer them and subscribe. Thanks for watching.